Hello students, now we are going to discuss about the lycopodium, right? So it is one of the natural powder. That's what uh, the topic itself is the powder of natural occurrence, right? So natural powder it is, right? So actually lycopodium, it is nothing but uh, it, uh, lycopodium clavatum, right? So this is the scientific name from which plant we are getting this lycopodium spore is uh, the perennial evergreen plant that grows in the pastures, woodlands, the heads and moors of Great Britain, Northern Europe and North America. So these are the geographical source of this particular plant where it can grow. It has the slender stem that trades along the ground and vertical branches that grow up to the 3 to 4 inches or 7.5 to 10 centimeter. Right. The plant belongs to the Lycopodiaceae and the family is related to the mosses or ferns right it is often called the club moss so that is a very popular name club moss you can see this name uh, in uh, many of the uh, source of information other names include the wolf's claw then staghorn then witch meal and the vegetable sulfur also it is known as right so you can see here that's what uh, the size you can see here the what is the size it is it is uh, it is shown here right uh, uh, it grow branches that grow three to four inches right so this is the uh, you can see here how the lycopodiums it is situated the spores it is situated in each uh, uh, section and after collecting it it will look like this only right so uh, this is the different uh, from here number of lycopodium spores can be collected uh, further separation it is the you can see here like that the powder it is going to look like that this is the image of the electron microscope when you will uh, see the 3d representation of the particular lycopodium spores it is going to look like this right so uh, it is useful into the quantitative microscopy lycopodium spore method it is there in the practical also so this is an important techniques used or employed in identification of crude drugs when chemical and physical methods are inapplicable or it is inappropriate right so so many chemical physical methods when we cannot do at that circumstance we are going to use this lycopodium spore method using this one can determine the proportion of substances present into the mean of microscope using the lycopodium spore method that's what is starch grain we are determining by this using this method right coming to this uh, the powder drug with well defined particles uh, which may be counted for example starch grains or single layered cells or tissues the area of which may be traced under suitable magnification or the objects of uniform thickness and the length of which can be measured under suitable magnification and actual area calculated are usually evaluated using this method right that's what the uh, adulterated starchy drugs right so many drugs which which, which will be having starch uh, say for example ginger uh, acacia and uh, so many carbohydrate containing crude drugs like uh, uh, tragacan uh, starch uh, right pectin and all those can be determined by counting the number of starch grain per milligram that's what we are here to count the starch grain in per mg how much how many number it is there right and calculating the amount from the known number of starch grain per milligram of the pure starch and starchy material right so that's what the, the things it is going on to count or to trace the number of starch present in per milligram of the drug right thus uh, if spent ginger right so that ginger is the adult train for example okay one knows the ginger uh, contains uh, <coughs> 2 lakh 86 thousand starch grain per milligram so that is well determined uh, in 1 mg of ginger powder there will be the 2 lakh 86 thousand number of starch right so that is this is established and known so and the amount used as an adult train can be calculated by using this figure if it is not coming this number in one one milligram that means that uh, the ginger it is adulterated one so here is the formula this is very popular formula which we are going to use into the practical also so the percentage 
purity actually the practical name is determine the percentage purity of the given sample of powder drug okay so the percentage purity of an authentic powder ginger is calculated using the following formula here ginger is a sample which we have taken for the calculation so here n a capital n into capital w into 94000 into 100 divided by capital s into capital m into capital p equal to percentage purity of the drug so here n means the number of characteristic structure like a starch grain in 25 field right so for so here we are using the lumbus chamber right so for wbc counting that hemocytometer what we are using now that we are going to use here here there are 25 fields it is going to have okay so in those field uh, what is the number of stars it is coming that we are going to count and that is going to be the value for n which is there into the formula coming to the second uh, abbreviation that is w it is a weight in mg of lycopodium taken so lycopodium is spore which we have get uh, got from lycopodium plant that is spore we are going to take so how much mg we are going to take that is the value of w s number of lycopodium is spore in the same 25 field right so in the 25 field number of starch we are going to count in the same 25 field number of lycopodium is spore we are going to count and the m is uh, uh, nothing but uh, weight of the sample like ginger what we are going to take right and the p value it is fixed uh, 2 lakh 86 thousand in case of ginger starch grain powder if you are taking ginger as a sample it the, its value it is going to be 2 lakh 86 thousand right so after putting these all values what we are we have got into the lumbus chamber under the microscope compound microscope those value after putting you are going to get the percentage purity of the drug right so it is going to look like this here you can see uh, the dark one these are the starch uh, sorry dark one these are the lycopodium spore and uh, the light one these are the starch so it is going to have uh, in the starch grains you can see it is light right so it is looking like a white one this is the starch grain and the remaining this dark one does the similar size and shape uh, these are the lycopodium spores so those number we have to count those weight we need to determine and we have to fix the in the some slide after standing you may see like this okay uh, these are the different uh, uh, images of the slide taken to observe the to determine the percentage purity of uh, certain drugs right so lycopodium uh, it will look like similar into the uh, uh, similar shape and size and uh, the dark in color all will look like same size and uh, the particular starch grains you can find it out that also we can count in 25 field remember in 25 field what is the number so that we can put into this formula and uh, we can get the percentage purity for the particular drug right so that is the theme of the lycopodium spore method thank you